Hi all my friends. Hi, it's Irene. I just thought I would do a little update on the um, Reflectix project that I have going on. And also, I'm going to need a little bit of help. So, Louis, when you see this, um, I need your help. <laughs> Anyways, um, he was one of the ones that helped me with those side windows. And, uh, Louis, you're going to like those when I show you um, them. I think I think they're going to come out really well once I even glue them together. Um, I won't be able to glue anything together probably until Monday because we're having um, a whole drizzly kind of uh, northwest w uh, weekend. Um, so I think Monday might be our big break. But anyway, so what I've got going on that's kind of also been a little bit, you know, problem, a little problematic for me are these windows that are up here. They're um, wider on one side, they're smaller on the other side, and then of course everything in here has, it's round, 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 you know, on the corners. So that has been quite a, quite a challenge for me, trying to get some of that stuff and all the, you know, roundness. <laughs> but doing the best I can, and then of course there's so many windows. There's a little side window over here, and um, so I'm working on all those right now. And then another Another problem that I had was this uh, window over here. This is the window that go the two windows on the side doors. Um, I don't even know how I could possibly poly iso board th this. There's not enough room when you have your knob here, so there's only so much room in here. I know I can cut around it. Um, I, I mean, there's and then trying to get around the aftermarket. Um, there's an aftermarket bug screen, and so it's two zippers, and then it pops out. So that's kind of been an issue. I did do a, let's see, oh, I lost, it fell down. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry if I hopefully don't make you too dizzy here. But so I did do the uh, Reflectix, and this is it, you know, to fit and around it, but it's not super tight. Um, around where that knob is, um, you know, for or the poly, I'm sorry, the um, uh, aftermarket screen zipper thing, because you do need to open up the windows sometimes, and those will be the windows that I'll need to pop open for um, air and venting, and uh, there's one right behind the sink, especially if I was cooking in here, plus I have my... Um, you know, um, fantastic fan, but sorry, I'm trying to hold this stick, um, too, for a reason, <laughs> but anyways, um, so I have that going on, it's, it's just been quite, quite interesting how to work around some of these windows and things and doors, and so the other dilemma, so Lewis, <laughs> when you hear, when you see this, is getting around, uh, the front, so I'm not sure what to do, am I supposed to uh, poly iso board um, even my windows um, on my passenger side and driver side um, you know over there and also the front or I thought well maybe I would just do a reflectix a more tighter reflectix on that front windshield so um, I'm not sure really how I'm supposed to do this front end so any any ideas would be amazing because I don't have this whole front end um, super, you know, tight or anything. Um, you know, everything's all open and open to the front. So um, one of the problems I'm going to have if I poly iso um, the uh, passenger door and the other one, if you notice, I don't know if you can see, but over in the corner in there is my knobs and for windows, my automatic, um, you know, uh, thing to open up the windows. And there's only so much space in between that thing and the window. So <laughs> there's a lot of, you know, little things I got to figure out how to get around some of that stuff in here. Um, so anyway, so any input um, Lewis or anybody else has... Um, that would be amazing on how to, you know, work this front end. Um, so again, do I need to have the poly iso boards in the front um, or with the reflectix, um, you know, because that would be a lot easier. I could do that. 
uh, Reflectix are it definitely much easier to cut and work with than the um, the boards I'm finding out. So any help on that? And then um, I did a big boo boo. <laughs> I need to tell the show the girls especially oh my gosh you know um i was you know i'm tired again i've been doing this for again almost a week i think i just been doing this um and so i uh forgot to put a cap on my my marker pen you know um, i'm marking things with this and you can't believe i was in a hurry and i was rushing and so i took the pen <laughs> And I, um, again, I told you I could be kind of silly at times. And I took the pen and I put it in my pocket. <laughs> and um, with the marker part, you know, down into my pocket. So, oh my gosh. So you guys got to laugh at this. So look at what happened. So I ended up um, having, um, you know, a little uh, stain. <laughs> look at, I got a stain. Oh my gosh. Um, so even boo-boos can happen, you know. <laughs> I thought, oh gosh, I can't believe it. Uh, so I just ruined my pants, you know, trying to get this project done. But oh well. So if you're doing these projects, you want to make sure that, you know, you put your cap on your pen before you put it in your pocket. Um, I don't know how long it was like that. And then I had like black all over my hands and I think, what the heck? And so anyways, that's kind of been going on with my um, dilemma today. Um, so any help, anything, um, any feedback or anybody else or especially Lewis, um, I, I would love to pick your guys' brain. Um, do I really need that, the board up in the front or, you know, will it be all right? enough with the um, Reflectix. I can try to do the boards up on these smaller windows. Um, that's, again, it's going to be a little bit hard because these windows, the way they're shaped, but I'll do the best I can. <laughs> but I hope to get all of this cut out and done by Sunday so that hopefully Monday I could go out, as I mentioned, and have my little... Um, uh, spray glue party, you know, back in the backyard and get everything all glued and all put together. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to try to get this out. And so the earliest I can get some feedback, I'd appreciate it. And I'm sure everybody else would appreciate any feedback or input. And it might help anybody else out there or another lady out there trying to do some of this stuff um, themselves. Um, so anyways, um, Thank you for any help, but this is the this is what's going on. This is uh, you know the update on my Reflectix project. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.